Kawhi Leonard, one of the best players and defenders in the NBA, has been having an amazing playoff run averaging 32.3 points and 7.7 .7 rebounds per game. However, Kawhi has always been a quiet guy and a player that shows no emotion. Why is Kawhi so quiet? What's good YouTube? Today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about Kawhi Leonard and why he's always been quiet. It all started at his childhood. Kawhi had a pretty stable childhood and not an easy one at all. Leonard was born on June 29, 1991 in California and lived with his mom, Kim Robertson, who was divorced from his dad, Mark Leonard. The time Kawhi could spend with his dad was limited, but he was usually at the car wash he owned. His dad was very into football and wanted Kawhi to play football, but Kawhi developed an interest in basketball and his dad saw how much he loved basketball and how much potential he had. His dad and him used to go to a car wash and clean cars. They would go every day there to wash cars. However, something tragically happened. When it was just Kawhi's dad washing cars, somebody came up and shot him to death. Kawhi wasn't there. Kawhi had a basketball game the next day that his dad was supposed to attend to. Kawhi played in that game and got 17 points but relatively struggled from the field. After the game, his mom hugged him and he let all his feelings out. After his dad died, his mom Kim Leonard said that Kawhi was never the same. Every time she asked him if he was okay, he wouldn't answer. In Kawhi's freshman year, he didn't make the basketball team because he couldn't get a ride for tryouts. This made him work harder every day and he was eventually noticed by people everywhere. The hours after school were spent hustling back and forth among three gyms, the Orange Terrace Park Community Center, and LA Fitness Club, and USC Riverside, running drills on an open court and playing as long as the lights stayed on. He was a furious rebounder and defender, so Leonard worked to add layers to his offensive game. Later in high school, he transferred to Martin Luther King High School in Riverside. There he got noticed by more colleges and eventually decided to play for San Diego State. He led them to the Sweet 16 and became ranked as high as 4th in the country. After a great couple of years at San Diego State, he decided to go into the draft. He was selected by the Pacers with the 15th pick, but later that evening he was traded to the San Antonio Spurs. In his career with the Spurs, he led them to a championship. The last game of the finals that year was on Father's Day, July 18th. This was a big deal for Kawhi since he won a ring and his father wasn't there to see it. So it was really a big coincidence that the Spurs won on Father's Day and Kawhi was the finals MVP. This meant a lot to him since his father just died and he doesn't have a living father anymore. I mean, how would you feel to really accomplish something great on Father's Day if your dad had died? His mom was there too and went onto the court at the end of the game. After that, Kawhi kept improving and had a breakout season in the 2016-2017 season. He averaged 25.5 points, 1.8 steals, and 2.6 steals per game. However, in Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals against the Warriors, Leonard landed on Sasa Pachulia's foot after attempting a field goal and re-aggravated his existing ankle injury. He exited the game and sat out the remainder of the series as the Spurs lost to the Warriors in four games. Leonard's 2017-2018 season was overshadowed by an injury and by disputes between Leonard and the Spurs regarding the handling of that injury. In June of 2018, Reports surfaced claiming that Leonard had requested a trade from the Spurs. A month later, on July 18th, Leonard and teammate Danny Green were traded to the Toronto Raptors in exchange for DeMar DeRozan, Jacob Pertl, and a protected 2019 first-round draft pick. Before the season started, Kawhi Leonard showed some emotion in the Raptors interview as he laughed out of nowhere and eventually became a meme of how unexpected it was. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> as of now he's been balling with the Raptor and has been proving himself as one of the best NBA players in the league. Since Kawhi Leonard is so quiet, he really doesn't get the respect he deserves. He's literally a silent assassin. Kawhi is one of the best players in the league. He shows no emotion on the court which gets more respect from the players. Kawhi just plays the game. He doesn't cause any issues. He just likes to ball. That concludes the video. What do you think of this strategy Kawhi faced at an early age? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and click the bell to get notified of my future videos. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.